Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 40th Qt tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Um, today we're going to be covering the QMap. Now if you look in the documentation, it says the QMap class is a template class that provides a skip list based dictionary. What does that mean? Well, what it means is it provides a key value pair. So you enter an item, but it has a key. Um, for example, a records of employees. You have an employee ID number and the employee name. And that's kind of what we're going to build today. So let's just go File, New, Qt Console, and we'll say uh, Maps Test. And let's just throw this in the usual location. All right, now first thing we have to do is add some includes here. So QMap, QDebug. All right, now let's actually make our map here. So we'll say QMap. And we want an integer for the employee ID, and we'll say a QString for the name. Let's call this employees. There we go. All right, we've got our map. Now we need to populate it. So we say employees. Insert. You notice there's an insert and an insert multi. Um, what insert will do is add it, and if it exists, it'll overwrite it. And insert multi will add a new item to it. So let's say insert. And the key we'll say one is Bob. And we'll say two is Chad. And let me get this lined up here. Three is Mary. And let's just print these out for each. And I in employees and you want you want to search the keys remember this is a key value pair so you want to grab all the instances of the keys and iterate through those say q debug and let's just compile and run this and see what happens sure enough we have bob chad mary so let's actually change Mary's ID to a 1 and see what happens here. You notice how we only have Mary Chad, because remember we're doing an insert. The insert, if it already exists, will overwrite it. So let's say 3. And let's just, for the, just for the sake of experimentation here, let's try the insert multi just to see what happens. Insert multi, and we want to take 1 and change that to... Uh, Hmm, say Amy. Now you notice how Bob has now been changed to Amy and it has added a second Amy. So in case you're wondering, that's what happens when you do the insert multi. Let's just get rid of Amy here. Now let's say you want to actually iterate over this list and discover the keys and the values. So what you need is a Q map iterator. And you need to give it the same uh, same template. So we'll say QString. And we'll call this iter. And it's going to iterate over the employees list. So we'll say while iter has next. We'll say uh, next so we'll just move to the next location here we're just gonna print some things out we want to get the key and let's get the name so the key and the value are what we're really after here we're just gonna put an equal sign here so we can tell what's actually going on Compile and run this. And you can see the for each macro just gives us the value. Where if we iterate through, we can get the key and value pair. So we can see that one is Bob, two is Chad, three is Mary. All right. Pretty easy stuff, but a pretty, pretty powerful thing to use. All right. This is, uh, this is Brian. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining. 